It is so cool. We're just checking it out like it's endless. <laughs> Jeremy's here, stressing because the luff is too long. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's perfect. After a pretty bumpy ride across the Strait of Georgia, we finally made it to the mouth of the Bernard Inlet in Vancouver, British Columbia. We're continuing into English Bay and Granville Island because today we're on a mission. Holy cow, you guys, we're in English Bay. That's where all these ships tend to sit. We're gonna putt into Gravel Harbor, grab some coffee, start measuring these sails in the rain. We're gonna get this done. It's actually been a great day. Let's do this, guys. Guys, we're coming under the Gravel Street Bridge. We're pulling into Gravel Island. We are deep in the city. This is really cool. Okay guys, those are the two Breverias outside in front of us. Okay, so those are the two boats in front of us that we're gonna measure. We're just on Granville Island tied up. We do have to move the boat again. So yeah, we're gonna go do the measurements and uh, get started. I'm here with Jeremy Rosman from Precision Sales. Okay guys, we are on this beautiful Breveria. Look at this. It's gorgeous. There's two side by side. Yeah. We want to show you guys that not every boat is made equal. So we have two brand new, what is it, C45? The various C45, yeah, fresh out of production. They've never even had sales on them. We want to see what's different on them. We often get clients asking, like, can't you just build me that boat? Isn't it the same as the last one? And so we're going to go and find out what Bavaria does and uh, how it's going to work. Let's go check it out, dude. Yeah. Jeremy manages the design team and oversees all sail designs at Precision Sales. Today, we're here to take a number of very important measurements for some very important sail. We'll be designing a full complement of new sails for the Canadian Navy. The Bavaria C-45s are two new boats in their training program. We'll be designing head sails, main sails, boat zeros, custom logos, and insignia. The works. Jeremy's actually measuring two points right now. So he's measuring from the top of the mast or the jib halyard down to the top of the cabin. And then he's actually just measuring the cabin top height as well. And uh, yeah, Jeremy's just working on that piece right now. So we're going to check the max hoist like we did with the other boat and we're going to double check uh, against the other boat. They should line up. Well, let's find out if he's right I, or wrong. I'm too pessimistic. He's pessimistic. We'll get over that. <laughs> It was great to have Jeremy come along to take such specific measurements. He's a real pro and the extra hands certainly made the job a lot easier. Jeremy is just taking the last minute photos of the boat. Always, always, always take a lot of photos on the boat. It just gives the designers an idea of like what you're looking for. We're about to put our gear away. Then we're gonna make our way back. It's gonna be rough. It's supposed to be way bigger than it was on the way over. And that was really rough at the beginning. So, you ready for this? Good job today, man. Wait. That was awesome. That's easy peasy. I Two huge boats. I called Jeremy last night. He was panicked. Are we not gonna go to Vancouver? Are we not gonna go? Are you kidding? I would miss this for anything. <laughs> We finished up on the two boats in about two and a half hours. Then we packed up for our trip back across the strait to Sydney, British Columbia. We headed due west across the strait towards Nanaimo, 
since it was a shorter run across the open water. From there, we can motor directly south along the east coast of Vancouver Island in flatter seas. En route, we thought it might be fun to make a stop on Wallace Island. We are at Conover Cove on Wallace Island. I really wanted to show Jeremy this place. It's so cool. Let's go have a look. Tucked between the northern tip of Salt Spring Island and Galliano, Wallace Island lies in protected waters that make it a popular choice for boaters and kayakers. We're inside this hut, so everyone gets like driftwood and they carve their name, their boat name on like driftwood or like a flag or there's lots of different things. It is so cool. We're just checking it out like it's endless. A lot of people doubted us today. No, you shouldn't go. Don't go, it's too rough. Look at it, it's flat calm. It's absolutely beautiful. What a nice day. You don't ask for anything better than this. Like, it, it's been amazing. After some quick exploring, we headed back to the dock and continued south towards Sydney. I will definitely be returning to Wallace Island to take a closer look at some of its beautiful sights. That's the Pacific Grace we just went by. That's pretty cool. Yeah. How was that? Oh, dude, it was epic. Yeah? Yeah, it was rad. It was really smooth. <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. No, it was sweet. It was a nice little calm ride back. Okay guys, that's a wrap for today. So we did a total of 110 miles from Sydney to Granville Island and back. Anyways, Jeremy and I are gonna go home, get some rest, and tomorrow we're gonna start designing the sails for the Canadian Navy race boats. I'm so pumped about this. It's gonna be awesome. The next day, Jeremy and I sat down and started working through the details and inputting the measurement data into our design program. This phase of sail production is equal parts technical and creative. It's a hands-on craft that takes years of apprenticing. Jeremy and I are back in the office and we spent the morning designing the sails. One of the main things on these boats that's confusing is we have two C45s and it's the same boat. Yes. So we have to make sure that we don't mix any of the measurements up. <laughs> the choice of materials is critical in getting these sails to perform at their peak efficiency. Attention to detail is everything when creating a sail. And Jeremy and I pour over every design choice. Everything from fabric and thread allowances to logo and color treatments all get special attention. We want these sails to really pop out on the water. Once we were confident that the designs were implemented accurately within the software, we could move into the next phase of our process. Jeremy and I could hardly wait to get these sails into production. The typical production time for most orders is approximately six to eight weeks from the time of order to deliver. So we have done the design, we've waited a couple weeks, and we're supposed to deliver the sales today. And unfortunately, we don't have Dingy One Kenobi at the moment. As you know, it's going through a refit. So we came down here, 
We're just gonna hoist the sails this time. Have you had fun? Oh yeah, having a blast. Everything should fit. Everything, we measured it, Yeah. we designed it. We have gone over everything with a fine tooth comb and now we just gotta put them up and make sure that they're good. If you need a sail, this is your guy. We designed all the sails here for the Canadian Navy. They look damn cool and they fit perfectly. So yeah, right on. I helped measure by the way, just a little bit. I didn't actually do a lot, but. <laughs> I grabbed a few guys from the office to join me when we were delivering the sail. For obvious reasons, we had to get special permission to be granted secure access to the Navy base. We've set aside an entire day for the delivery and installation of this special order. Uh, we're just getting the mainsails up. This is gonna look so cool, guys. There is always a little apprehension when it comes down to the final installation. And for Jeremy, as a designer, even more so. This time, the stakes were higher than normal. Okay, Jeremy's here, stressing because the luff is too long. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's perfect. It's, good. it's looking good. We just have to get a winch out so we can get her fully hoisted up. But we've got a bit of space at the top there and we're not fully hoisted. So, uh, so far, so good. It all comes down to the accuracy of measurements. And there are a lot of moving pieces on a sailboat. Everyone pitched in and soon everything started to take shape. Things were going great. Jeremy, I am so happy with your design of this made sail. The fit is absolutely perfect. Rock on, dude. It's amazing. Look at the clue. It was such an honor to work together with the Canadian Navy, and I am so proud of the team here at Precision Sales. Please remember to like and subscribe. Join me next time on I Dream of Dingy.